doing a, a nitric uh, <clears throat> a nitric line removal today. So. Currently, employees at the plutonium finishing plant closure project are the greatest users of respiratory protection equipment on the Hanford site. PFP employees issue and use nearly 22,000 powered air purifying respirators, or PAPR units, annually. Their success rate is nearly perfect at a 99.963%. However, in the nuclear cleanup business, there is no room for error when it comes to respiratory protection. The excellent safety performance in this area is primarily attributed to PFP's conscientious employees. One uptake is too many. As employees at PFP launch the 4-H respiratory pilot program, they plan to close this small error gap. 4-H stands for the primary components of the MSA Optimayer TL Papper. That is hood, hose, housing, and HEPA. The purpose of the program is to keep PAPR units intact and people free of inhalation hazards by using several different approaches. Through peer checks, PAPR assembly tips, the congested area checklist, and the O-ring bumper guard. Oh yeah, we all we do uh, peer checks on each other. If we see that you know someone's down to two lights or, or even one light, we notice loose filters. Um, we help each other get get our belts on and get get the unit positioned on our backs. Pull down each other's hoods to make sure we're fully covered on our shoulders and our back. And yeah, just generally check out your partners and your coworkers. Peer checks have always been a part of safety at PFP, but the new criteria helps put a formal process in place. Peer checks are now designated during the pre-job. The peer checker will help their coworker during assembly and while performing work. Once a worker is checked, the peer checker will give the coworker a 4-H sticker signifying that the peer check took place. It's uh, extremely vital that we make sure that this particular unit is functioning properly. You're checking for this, and then you're sticking it in here to make sure it seats in. There is a better way to ensure proper TL filter installation. There's two main reasons that they've been coming off. One is they're not assembled correctly, and the second one is a direct impact to the filter that could possibly have it come off. We've come up with some steps to make sure that the assembly is correct. And first of all, we want to work with gravity by laying the housing on its side and taking your filter, um, sitting it down with a back turn, letting gravity take place, and then turning it on. You pretty much have to be aware of your surroundings, uh, everything. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff that could go wrong back there. Another 4-H component is a new tool called the CAC. It stands for Congested Area Checklist and it helps workers discuss some of the potential hazards they may encounter when working in an area where the PAPR can come in contact with workspace surroundings. The final component to the 4-H program is a manufacturer-approved modification to the PAPR. With manufacturer, CHPRC technical authority, and site-wide respiratory committee approval, PAPR users can install a bumper on their TL PAPRs prior to entering a congested work area. So we looked at the unit and we have an edge on the unit and this edge either here or here seemed to be what was catching in the field. Uh, catching I mean the individual wearing these in tight places, getting hooked on pipes, ductwork, scaffolding, whatever the case might be. So our idea was to cut this edge by using an o-ring and place it over the cartridge back so it does not affect the cartridge use or the unit itself and this would in turn take the edge off of catching the cartridge. That is our current philosophy and help curbing the cartridges from coming up. PFPS type workspaces include piping runs, glove boxes, vents and many other obstacles. The PFP Closure Project Respiratory Pilot will significantly decrease the likelihood of TL PAPR filter separations as employees have become more involved and have endorsed the program. We continue to strive for um, greater levels of improvement and success uh, when it comes to working in this facility when we have not only plutonium but also chemical vapor hazards. Whether we are talking about the O-ring, congested area checklist, assembly tips, 
or the 4-H peer check criteria. The 4-H program goal is based around workers actively caring and watching out for each other and ensuring everyone goes home to what matters the most.